Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the CryCry Cry DOS virus. This virus was written by a member of 29A, which was an incredibly prolific virus writing group in the 90s. And they produced quite a bit of pretty technical and quite honestly pretty cool stuff. And this one is no exception. Uh, it infects floppy disks when they are accessed in the machine and also all .com and .exe files. But only as long as they are bigger than I think 10k bytes. So try as to conceal itself a bit. It is a full stealth virus, but it's still noticeable if you check for file size increases. And uh, so we'll go ahead and run this. So now the virus is present in memory. We'll try to find a good file to infect. Is graphics.com 110k? Oh yes it is. Let's run it. So it takes a little bit and it infects it. Since it is stealth, we probably won't see a file size increase as we you can see we don't. It still reads as 19742, but it is actually infected. Look at the mem. We're missing a bit of memory. Reserve for the virus, but anyway. Getting on with the virus. We'll infect a few more things. And well that's really about it. Uh, we have to take a look at the payload. Which activates every June 4th. Every single year. And we will see this when we reboot the computer. We'll go ahead and let that boot up. Hopefully the color saturation is a bit better this time. Um, I had a few issues on my one half in the follow-up video that uh, for some reason the text was turning out green in my attempts to get it to be very clear and legible. Hopefully this is a bit more the standard gray that we're used to. Anyway, here is the payload. It is the Cry Cry virus by Gryo. Gryo, I don't know, but he's a member of 29A, as I said. Tried, tested, not approved. And that's it. Can't do anything, as you can see. The computer's not liking me banging on the keyboard. It's not accepting input, and your computer is pretty much a brick every June 4th. Every time you attempt to boot from your hard drive, it would be this, and imagine you had an office full of machines, you shared files on disks regularly, and they all wound up infected because CryCry Cry is very uh, efficient at infecting disks on their boot sectors, which will then be used to infect other machines. But, much like one half, we actually have a removal tool for this, also from F-Secure. I'm not sure that they wrote it, I don't think they did, but we're going to check and see if it works. Because while the one half removal tool did work, I'm not sure all of these are going to work. So uh, we'll go ahead and do a cold boot. I don't want the virus present in memory in case it tries to infect my MS-DOS boot disks, which would be um, bad. I've done that quite a few times, gone through a few sets of MS-DOS boot disks, and they all get corrupted or otherwise destroyed by contracting some virus. And it's really not a good feeling to have every new install of MS-DOS come pre-installed with a virus. So we want to get rid of that message. We don't care that Grio thinks it's try tested, not approved. We want to do work. This is MS DOS. What can you do but work? Or maybe we want to play Wolfenstein 3D or Doom. You know, we want to do other things than look at a payload message. And besides, now we know we have a virus on the system. We don't want to just let that go. Oh, thank you, we don't need to install. Alright. Now we're going to try our tool. Make sure I got the right disk here. I do not. Where's my disk at? Here it is. Let's boot it up. Oh, we only got one file on here. We got a fix. It's not Fox. We got a fix cry. Usage, fix cry and the drive letter. Alright, detect and remove cry cry virus. Copyright 1996 by Computer Virus Clinic. Alright, thanks guys. Let's try it out. Fix cry. Alright, we're scanning files. Okay, I guess we did something. Seems like it did something. I mean, it scanned the disk. It was a lot, a lot faster than the one half tool. I guess it didn't have to decrypt the entire disk. Let's see if it worked. Hmm. 
you know? I got this feeling. Something's telling me that it didn't work. It's crazy, crazy notion of mine that we might still actually be infected with the virus. So as you can see, it really is a crapshoot as to whether tools are going to work or not for your system. And even in most cases today, I would still recommend formatting your drive and reinstalling your operating system than attempting to get by after removing serious infections. I mean, if you get an adware infection or something, little minor rogue or spyware, you know, let Malwarebytes take care of that or combo fix. But for the big stuff, fruit kits, boot kits, anything else, DOS viruses in this case, sometimes it really is better to just start with a clean slate and make sure your backups aren't infected as well because you don't want to reintro reintroduce the virus into your system that way. So that is about it for the Cry Cry virus. Hope you enjoyed it.